President Ranil Vikramasinghe attended a business round table today titled Sri Lanka's economic revival and opportunities for Japanese enterprise. The event which was jointly organized by Japan External Trade Organization, Japan Sri Lanka Business Corporation and the Embassy of Sri Lanka in Japan aims to strengthen economic ties between the two nations. As far as I am concerned there is no turning back. It was a great tragedy for Sri Lanka. It was a big setback, but the measures we are taking to stabilize the economy also gives hope to Sri Lanka because my idea is not merely to stabilize the economy but also to restructure the economy, to further liberalize the economy and make it growth oriented economy. So those measures have now been taken and a final report is being prepared on economic stabilization and growth which will be submitted to the cabinet in the coming few weeks. LRT was cancelled without the cabinet being informed just by one official the damage was done confidence was lost so what are we doing now the cabinet agreed that we can't allow this to happen again under any government so we are bringing in laws which will ensure that once mega project agreement is signed it has to be tabled in parliament annual reports given on the implementation to parliament and it cannot be changed or altered without the consent of all the parties involved so that will ensure that no government can take arbitrary decision on the basis of a report given by a few individuals then in regard for the private investments we do have investment treaties which are guaranteed by the constitution but i will bring some more laws to give further effect to those investment guarantees we have had board of investments and a export development board i am doing away with all that and bringing one single economic development commission which will be the sole authority on making decisions and the law will prescribe certain periods within which such discussions are made so i am absorbing export development and investment promotion to one agency the boi has one strength it runs the best industrial uh, estates the best investment zones in south asia so we separate that into a investment infrastructure corporation where the new investment zones whether it be for manufacturing tourism technology will be started under separate companies can be private can be government or it can be a public private part all the laws and regulations which have hindered the development of business is being identified on removal so we have decided and i told parliament that i want sri lanka to enter the rcep with rcep a round of liberalization has to take place we have to become more competitive and then i said we will also agree at that time that within a given time frame a medium term time frame we will enter the t become a member of trans pacific partnership so that's the second one this is what i want to we are a small island in the middle of the indian ocean then we haven't got the large markets but we are areas in which we can specialize and we can aim at the larger market the biggest market for us is going to be the rcep so we are looking at a four market policy that is we have the indian market rcep the comprehensive progressive and trans pacific partnership and we already have agreement with the european union will further deepen it sri lanka if you look at the developments that's going to take place in india a fast growing economy then you will see even in the next 50 years pakistan iran all will develop with all that shipping taking place and the developments that are taking place in africa when the new ports come in sri lanka to become a regional logistic hub both the ports and the airport for instance in colombo the port and the airport are both very close by and a new harbor in colombo which uh, subana jurong of Singapore is planning out a completely new harbor so that that's that's the possibilities we have